Hi everyone, it's Ellie Mae with Silhouette Secrets Plus and I thought I would just drop in to share a quick tutorial to show you how you can download the free file from the Silhouette Design Store each week. Every Tuesday there is a new free design posted. Some weeks there's more than one and you can grab that in the Silhouette Design Store. Here's the banner that shows this is this week's for June 28th of 2022 the free design for this week. You can also find all the free designs under the free tab at the top. So I'm at silhouettedesignstore.com and the free tab is here at the top. There are also links in the description below to get you to the store and for more information on if you have troubles getting this. We'll talk about that here in a second. So if you click on this little free tab at the top, it's going to pull up all of the free files that are currently available in the Silhouette Design Store. You can see that I have grabbed quite a few of those. So you can go ahead and what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand this. If you want to simply just add it to your cart, you're going to click on this little shopping cart right here. It shows here as free. I'm going to click on it and it brings up the file information. So you can see what type of file it is. It's a regular cut file. Um, you can get it in studio format, which is the .studio, which is a proprietary file for Silhouette's files. You can also click on this little SVG option. The SVG option is able so that you can download it to your computer directly, and then you can open the SVG file. SVG files are a common cut file type, which could be used in many different programs and for different reasons. For instance, you could use it with a Glowforge, which is a laser cutter. You could use it with another cutting machine, such as a Cricut or a Brother Cut and Scan. So having the SVG option is a great option. You'll also notice that on files that have a cost, it is a little bit more for the SVG option. If you're just using this file in the Silhouette Studio software or with your Silhouette machine, you do not need the SVG. Since it's free, I always click the SVG. If you come down here and you wanna choose the commercial use license. Commercial use means that you have the permission to use it in items that you make for sale. This is a physical product. You can find the commercial use license terms of use on the Silhouette website. I'll also link that in the description below as well. But you'll notice if I click commercial use, it does give me the charge for it. This is because you are using it to make money. So they give you a different price if you plan to use it for selling products. Just think about if you are taking something and you are selling it and you're making a profit off of it, that is the reason that you see a higher price for commercial use. So you can either click the shopping cart here or the shopping cart on the little icon. If you want the SVG, you do need to open this up. You could click the SVG here. Or when we click this add to cart, I'll close this and come up here to the top right corner where my shopping cart is. You can also see that you can move this to your wish list. You have your commercial option, which if I had more than one file, I could choose that. It would select it for all of them. You can see there's a higher price here. The SVG in this case, since it's a free file from Silhouette, it costs you nothing. So you can click that. Um, the file that downloads to your library is a .studio file. If you want to download the SVG, you have to do that direct through your computer. And I can show that here in a second. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to check out. Give it a second, and then I have to type in my password. It's going to complete my order. Now, if you want to download this file direct, you could click on direct download. If you have multiple files that you would like, you can click on the order number and click download selected. You could click this little download button again. That is only needed if you need it in other file types. So if you need the SVG file, you will download it direct to your computer and use it from wherever you save it. If we switch over here to the Silhouette Studio software, I can go ahead, let's see if it'll come up with Popsicle. So it did, I searched for Popsicle. The file is already in my library and it is just like that usually. As long as you're connected to the internet, it can sync up. 
you're going to notice down here in the bottom left corner, it says synced with a green check mark, and it tells me the current date and time that it synced. If it did not sync, you could click the little sync button. If your studio software shows working offline, that means that it has been disconnected. You will click on your name in the top left and you would check the box for work offline and uncheck that box. And what will happen, I can go ahead and do it here. It shows working offline. If I then check it again or uncheck it, it's going to automatically sync. So you are forcing that connection again. Again, if it says working offline here, click on your name, check the box, and then uncheck it again, and it will force it to sync. If that does not sync it properly, then there's something else going on. Check out the link in the description below for detailed steps on the next steps that you need to take. So I can go ahead and I can just double click on this file. It's in my library and it brings it up on my page. I hope that helps you get your files into your Silhouette Studio software. Again, this is how to download files and get them synced into your library from the Silhouette Design Store. Have a great day, happy cutting. Thank you.